Déclinez votre identité. Jean Erso. Falsification de documents impériaux, recel d'objets volés, violence aggravée et refus d'obtempérer. On peut vous enlever les menottes Finissons-en, s'il vous plaît. With Jin, Gareth and I both felt that it was very important that we found her humanity and her vulnerability and everyone should relate to her. The Rebellion have found her a little bit difficult, but they need something very specific from her. Quand as-tu été en contact avec ton père pour la dernière fois Il semblerait qu'il joue un rôle essentiel dans la conception et la construction de cette arme. Jin is at least to the eyes of Cassian a troublemaker. But then he witnesses that she's a real hero and willing to risk everything. Si c'est mon père qui l'a conçu, il faut qu'on le retrouve. Felicity brings a level of strength that always keeps you on your toes. You wanted to win. Oh my god, this is Star Wars. This is insane. An experience that I will never ever forget. Que la force soit avec nous. We all grew up with Star Wars, and I never imagined for one minute that I would ever work on a Star Wars production. My role on Rogue One is an opportunity to be able to develop techniques, get better at it, not only in the way that we make things, but hopefully more successfully creatively, in such a way as that it feels as Star Wars as it can possibly be. The creatures are amazing. Their eyes blink and move, and their lips have a very subtle expression. You'll look up and one of the creatures is a huge monkey shooting this enormous gun out of the plane. And then you remember, oh, we're actually in Star Wars. I love apes and monkeys in general, and I love space. So when you combine the two and have a space monkey, it's kind of a dream come true. You've got to remind yourself that every single day is an amazing thing, no matter what you're doing. We just happen to be running around with robots and creatures and stuff. Nice to meet you. If I'd known since I was four that I was going to be shooting a Star Wars film, I would have planned it all my life. This film, these characters, this story I grew up with, it's a whole world I've been thinking about for quite a long time. You can feel everyone in the crew and the cast kind of stops and just takes that in and you remember, oh, we're actually in Star Wars. It's like the world's greatest toy set. It's a bit like being that kid again <laughs> with Star Wars figures. Stormtroopers over here and then this happens, there's an explosion. It's been a lot of fun. It's the greatest job in the world. Rogue One takes place very close to episode four. The simplest way to explain it is that text you see at the beginning of A New Hope. That is essentially our movie. Il l'appelle l'étoile de la mort. Une armée épouvantable. Mais on peut la vaincre. Jin starting to put together a team. Elle veut se battre. Moi aussi. Combien il faut qu'on soit. It is an ensemble movie, but at the heart of it is a strong woman. C'est maintenant qu'il s'agit de se battre. Chaque jour, il se renforce. All these characters are real heroes that are willing to risk everything. Allumez-les comme si vous étiez une centaine. Through their journey, we see the formation of the Rebel Alliance and the stealing of the Death Star plans. S'il y en a qui ne veulent pas risquer d'être la traîne, c'est le moment de vous exprimer. C'est une très mauvaise idée. Silence. Achieve what they achieve because they achieve it together. Rogue One. as a kid. Everywhere is an amazing shot, an amazing character. It's 
It's about the humanity of it, which just makes the whole thing so real. Ready and action! Well, your heart's beating and you're actually in this situation. You get something very genuine that you couldn't have planned. You'll actually compose shots that if we were on a green screen set, you just wouldn't have known were available. The pressure's so high. Like, we're making a film that's right touching my favorite movie of all time. But then if you're too respectful of it, that you dare not do anything new or different, or take a risk, then what are you bringing to the table? Next week, next week. This is really where a film crew like this really comes into their own. That kid, when you were four years old, grew up with Star Wars figures. It's a bit like just being that kid again. You're sort of going like, ah, ah, ah. May the force be with us.